Hello and welcome to another update video about AVEX. AVEX is up a little bit. Um, overall, quite a positive market today and I think it's time for another AVEX update, even though I can't really tell you anything new because, yeah, this structure looks still like a big, big corrective mess. Now, that doesn't mean it has to come down. It is worth waiting for confirmation before getting bearish here or anything. Um, because obviously whenever we are dealing with a structure like that it could be a B wave that's at the moment the interpretation that the market fulfilled here an A wave to the upside this here is a B wave pullback and we could get a C wave rally however this B wave would be an ABC structure obviously and even this B wave could overshoot so there's plenty of space still uh, for further upside it's just not a very clear structure and therefore just not very clear parameters and high probability okay so it could it could basically break at any time that's the problem with a structure like that um, but that's very much consistent with previous updates i explained to you in the last video that as long as we're holding there the 35 dollar level or more precisely 35.50 further upside in the white scenario is valid in the white scenario, yeah, it's basically climbing in a very, very ugly and messy diagonal, which in my reading only completed three waves because we haven't even seen the 1.38 extension. Already end of February, I sent an update to our gold members to indicate that minimally to consider it a third wave complete, it needs to reach $49. It hasn't even reached that. So that's the next milestone still on the chart. And the assumption that we could get there is valid as long as we're holding that 3550 level down there. Then we should still get away four and five basically, yeah? you know, for the next five wave move up. The problem is it can always fail after three waves. So it's always worth knowing what is the level where it will fail. And the next or the level that I can give you at the moment is this 3550 level, two swing lows. It's just a chart that doesn't offer very clear probabilities from an Elliott Wave point of view. I mean, if you have another edge, feel free to do it. Elliott Wave tells us that surely further upside is possible, but it's just not, you don't get the great probabilities or not a great reward to risk ratio to the upside. Because where, I mean, where can it go to in an ABC structure? Just difficult, yeah. Or is this B wave already done here? But then what's this mess? Okay, so I mentioned it a while ago that you know, on a chart like that, if you want to play upside, it's best to just buy and set the stop loss. I think at the time it was $30 or below this swing low uh, or even this swing low. And as long as that's the case, you know, you can just play the upside. But be aware when those levels break, it's getting very likely that a C wave to the downside is unfolding. Now, a confirmation of the C wave to start requires a first one two setup to the downside because the C wave down is a five wave move. So it's like this one two three four five let me change that to yellow and the wave degrees so basically when we have a wave one complete and the wave two corrective rally which stays below the beginning of wave one that would be a good confirmation that we're heading down in wave c uh, while taking out one of these support levels i mentioned especially here 3550 next well okay but what if it keeps climbing what are the next levels to watch to the upside next levels to watch i already mentioned the 49 dollar level um, and then 52.75. By the way, $49 is also the 20, oh, it's actually the last year's high. So we need to take out that level. $49, $50. It's just at $49, I've got the FIB level. And at $50, that's the 2023 high point. So break above it will basically lead to a new high this year. And I mean, it's already forming a new 2024 high now, but we haven't broken above last year's high. And then above that, we have the next main Fibonacci level that you see on the daily chart is $55. Yeah, and then 86. So I would not rule out it. Get, I mean, there is still plenty of upside here available. It's just this structure is just a mess. Doesn't, yeah, it doesn't give me a very clear read. It doesn't allow me to read the structure very properly. It will reveal itself at some point, okay? And until then, I gave you some invalidation points, next upside levels to watch. And just a warning that the structure is completely messy. So it's not a stable structure. As long as the market is friendly, it's probably going to continue to climb with the market. And it would be within the white count, you know, which, 
well, you know, what happens after these five waves? Difficult to say. If we form five waves up as per the white count, I mean, it could always form another one two setup. Okay, so we'll certainly track it. Just be aware that um, yeah, whenever a chart isn't clear, I mention it. So yeah, that's my update about AVAX. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.